guys you're welcome back to my channel my name is Dami and you're watching Dami Dimension if it's your first time you're welcome and if you're returning you're welcome as well and if you enjoyed this tutorial be sure to leave me a thumbs up if you have any question leave a question for me in the comment section and I will try my best to answer also if you have any requests if you have any video you want me to make you can let me know in the comment section and I will try to make it happen for you guys and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel just hit the red button down below to subscribe and make sure to turn on the notification bell because on this channel I post video every week on sewing tutorials and DIY so you don't want to miss anything so guys let's get started so in order to get started we need to draw out our chest line and in order to do that we are going to determine how deep we want our neckline to be for me i want my neckline to be four inches deep so i'm going to be placing my table four inches away from the edge of my paper okay so next thing i'm going to do is to take my ham hole measurement so the half of my arm hole is 8.5 so i'm just placing the mark like that so basically we are assuming that our shoulder line is here but it's not visible in the off shoulder pattern so we are still going to be taking a reading from the top so now i'm taking my shoulder to my nipple point that's 10 inches and i'm marking it like so and next shoulder to the under bust that's 14 inches and next shoulder to waist is 16 and I'm marking that as well next is my shoulder to hip and I'm going to be marking that as well like that so I'm going to be connecting all of this into a horizontal line as you can see I've done that now this is my chest line the bust point the under bust the waist and the hip line so just to make sure you're still on the same page with me next i'm going to be transferring the half of my bust point so take your nipple to nipple measurement divide it by two and transfer it right here like this mine is 3.5 and i'm marking it like so so just mark it mark it on those horizontal lines and then we are going to connect that with a straight line okay so next add one inch to that same measurement you just transferred and mark it here at the top so for me it was 3.5 that i just measured i'm adding one to that to make it 4.5 then i'm marking 4.5 here like so then i'm going to be connecting this point to that boss point so next thing on the under bust line take three quarter of an inch to the right and three quarter of an inch to the left just like that all right and on the waistline you're going to take half inch to the right and half inch to the left okay and once you're done doing that you're going to be connecting those points together with a straight line just like I'm going to do now all right and once you're done you're going to be measuring one inch downward from your boss point and one inch upward just keep watching and i'm going to let you know what you would do with those measurements so i'm taking the one inch downward now and the one inch upward so from this point you are going to join to meet that line and do the same thing on the other side like that all right and these are forming the dots already and once that is done you are going to be joining this one straight down to meet that point where the straight line meets the hip line just like that it's very simple <laughs> okay so on this line you're going to be taking one inch to the right and one inch to the left I had a short break in transmission there unfortunately but this was what I did from this line I took one inch to the right and one inch to the left and I connected to that one inch that I measured upward the other time yeah so basically that was what I did so now it's time to transfer our horizontal measurements and the idea is whatever measurement you take out for the dart you have to be returning it 
so i'm starting by uh, transferring my neck width i'm going to be taking the neck width of 4.5 so i'm going to be adding two inches of that to that because i took two inches of that right then i'm going to add half inch sewing allowance as well so 4.5 plus half inch plus two gives me seven so i'm marking the seven inches okay so the next thing to do now is to transfer a chest measurement so you are going to be taking the circumference of your chest divided by four plus whatever you have in between this that so measure out what you have in between that tiny part plus one inch to join the two dots together plus another one inch to join the front to the back so whatever that gives you you are going to be marking it on your chest line so mine gives me 11 inches and that is what i'm marking right there okay next thing now is to insert a waist measurement my waist is 26 inches 26 inches divided by 4 gives me 6.5 and 6.5 plus 1 inch dart so this 1 inch dart right here if I add it to that 6.5 it will give me 7.5 plus 1 inch to join the dart together that gives me 8.5 plus another 1 inch seam allowance that gives me 9.5 so now I'm going to be placing my 9.5 measurement on my waistline just like that so just mark it and next thing we are moving to the hip the quarter of my hip gives me 8.75 plus one inch to uh, join the dart together all right because my dart is getting to that point I have to join it plus another one inch sewing allowance that gives me 10.75 so I'm going to be placing my 10.75 on my hip line and placing a mark right there as well okay and once that is done you just need to connect the points together so I'm connecting the armhole and I'm also going to connect the shape using my uh, curved ruler if you are not yet subscribed guys please go down below and click the red button to subscribe and also give this video a thumbs up all right so now we just need to cut out the shape and also cut out the dart i'm going to be leaving the neckline straight that way because it's a basic pattern i'm going to be needing in future if you want you can shape it uh in, in your, you know whichever way you want it you can make it the sweetheart neck or whatever so just do it whichever way you want for me i'm leaving it straight for future purpose so now i'm cutting out the dart as well as you can see so after cutting it out we are going to be having three pieces for this front panel of the bustier and that is all about the bustier pattern drafting as you can see it is very very easy so guys please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this if you have any question just let me know in the comment section and i'll be sure to answer your question until next time bye